Okay. All right, so I'm getting ready to unbox my PS my PS One finally. All right, so I already unpacked everything. So in order to get this AMS out, I need to get those safety screws with this thing that came with the box. Yeah, initially before, you know, again, as guys, we don't ever read directions. So I was trying to get this out of the box here and it, it seemed like it felt heavy. And I was trying to lift it up from here, but it's literally because of these screws. It's fairly light. I can, can get it out of one hand, see? Next thing we gotta get, I like how you just mark everything where you need to get unscrew those safety screws. So that's good. And there it is. It's kind of like a pretty cool looking plastic. You can use this for dioramas. Don't know if I want to throw this away. So now I'll just take this out. And got a couple more things you gotta undo or take out. And I think there's a couple of safety screws that I need to take out as well. All right, time to get these last, uh, these three screws here. One, two, and three. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, plug this cable to the back of the screen. So you're gonna have to like push it in and then shift it to the left. All right, so take this sticker off. You're gonna be tempted to try to take these out, but it's probably best to uh, wait until you get to raise this bed up. So I'm gonna continue uh, putting the, everything else together. All right, so here is the back of the um, PS1. So I'm gonna, as you guys can see, it says top right here, top. So you're going to want to put it in like so. All right, the glass top is on now. Looks pretty sweet. Nice and flush. All right, so this is the AMS. Now time to take off all this fancy plastic. Okay, some more. Look at that. Listen to that. Okay, so the AMS is on top. I just want to connect all these tubes. Take that stupid tape off first. All right, that's as far as I go. No need to push it in, I don't think. All right, so you're gonna have these two cables here that came in the box with the tools, accessories. So you're gonna see there's a six pin, six pin, and a four pin. So four pins gonna go up in here, so they're gonna connect from here to the bottom of here, or yeah, to the bottom here, six pin from here to the AMS.
All right, so you got your four pin cables. Make sure you guys take note. This end connects to the printer, uh, to the 3D printer, this side up. So this part right here is gonna be the bottom right there. And it only goes in one way. And then just kind of like uh, pin it up right here. And then the six pin. I don't think, I think it can go either way. Yeah, I think it can go either way. Just a little concerned with the power cable. It seems a bit short, so we'll see how that goes. All right, it's already plugged up. Now to turn on the 3D printer. Yeah. All right, so this is the first option or first prompt. Yeah. Okay, I already moved, removed the three screws. All right, let's get that out of there. Oh, did we get it out? Yeah, we got everything else. So it's doing a self-test right now. Make sure I got everything out. I forgot to put the uh, these things in there, the filament. All right, so it looks like you gotta remove the plastic from the desiccant. It says remove the plastic bag of the desiccant before use. I didn't expect it to be self-testing right now. All right, it says our printer's ready. Enjoy printing. Again, don't forget to take the plastic off here, off the uh, desiccants. Put that in there. Snaps right in. Time to load the filament. So when you're loading this up, you just gotta give it a little bit of a push to activate it, to engage. 